Good afternoon. So, thanks to Power Films, I get a second opportunity in my life to reintroduce myself in front of you. Some known names, many unknown. To introduce myself, I was born in a traditional Bengali joint family. I was a single child, and I am a single child till date of my parents. <laughs> and I have always been pampered. Very much pampered, you know. I used to be endowed with so many things which seem to be in my purview. And everybody in my family, as well as in my extended family, used to call me daddy's little princess for obvious reasons. And my dad is a doctor, is an eye specialist. I've seen him, I have grown seeing him serving patients in under and amongst mainly from the underprivileged masses. So since my early childhood, I had the urge to become a doctor. But then as I grew up, as I already mentioned a few minutes back in my table topic speech, I grew the interest of mathematics. So I took up engineering. But before I go to my engineering details, let me just elaborate about my hobbies and interests. As Shipra already suggested, I am an avid music lover as well as a pet lover. I have been growing amongst a lot of pets, namely dogs. So that makes me an animal social activist. Yes, I am an animal social activist at my hometown, Asanso. And I have mastered classical singing as well as dancing. I have completed Kattak uh, till fourth year. And then, eventually when I grew up, I understood that being in the rat race is more important than following your assimilated talents. So that made me compromise with some of my assimilated talents. Till date, I do make a point to sing sometimes, not even in the bathroom, but sometimes during giving stage shows at my hometown. And also, I try to maintain my painting skills, which also I adhere during my childhood. So the lesson one, one which I learned in my life was, I can think myself to be a jack of all trades, but I can now master only few. Which few? Which drive my passion, which make me thrive every day. So I started school at the age of three in Assembly of God Church School, one of the greatest, one of the biggest Christian missionaries uh, spread across the world. And I have been very active in sports since I was of the age nine. I took, took over as the basketball team captain of my school and did lead my team in various inter-school basketball competitions. By the time I reached 13, I understood that life has to give you both failures and successes at various points of time. And whether you are a follower or a leader, it is very important to accept your failures. Our team could not fare well during my uh, class 10, uh, like my, during my ICC, when I was appearing for my ICC, I was the basketball team captain, but our school could not do well during that year. So that made me, made me very much upset. But then I understood that as I pass on the lineage to my juniors, maybe they could learn something from me. Maybe they could learn from my failures. So that's how I came out from my school and then I started with my plus two. And as in my plus two, I decided after uh, finishing my plus two, I would take up engineering. I enrolled myself in an uh, engineering college at my hometown, Asansol Engineering College. And then I befriended a lot many friends from across the state, from across the country. I have been a person who has been taking up ownership since very early childhood. And this time, guess what? I took the ownership of fighting for my friends. Due to which my college came, my college friends gave me a name, the Wrangling Queen. Yes, until they they call me Wrangling Queen. Finally, the four exquisitely beautiful years of my life were spent, and then I got into an MNC, flew extreme south down to Kerala in Trivandrum to attend my initial learning program. Life was definitely much complicated when I was away from home. After staying in a place for 22 years, I had to go extreme south, Kerala. Okay, it's fine. I said chill. Then, after three months of rigorous training, finally the day came when <coughs> I had to get adieu to my lifelong friends of four years. And then I understood that change is the only constant parameter in human life. Nothing in life is as important and as integral and as beautiful as change. 
I got placed in uh, software MSc in Mumbai, city of dreams. I got eventually used to the to being in the corporate pressure, staying in constant deadlines, blah blah, and so on. And then finally, I finally found out that the law of manifestation does actually work for me. Because that time too, I actually manifested few eccentric friends, as eccentric as me, during my corporate career. I stayed in Mumbai for two years and then finally I came to Kolkata. And I, I have been staying in Kolkata since the last five and a half years. My life seems to be quite stagnant, but still it's fine. This is also God's planning for me. I have now coming back to my title. Why do I call myself a warrior princess? A warrior is one person who never thinks about too much about the future, who always and who always thinks that present is the only thing that he or she has to concentrate. Who all who never shies away from charting across new territories or new challenges, and he always takes up any changes, any form of modifications in life with greater flexibility. So truly, I am a warrior princess. Over to you. <coughs>